Turbo Beast doing another install today. Today we're doing a 98 S10 little pickup. With this install, we're replacing this factory DIN and a half to a single DIN Bluetooth Pioneer radio. We're going to show you how to remove the old radio, install the new radio, and get everything wired up correctly. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to head to our shop bench. We're going to go ahead and wire up the new radio. We'll show you what parts you'll need, and we'll get started from there. First things first, we're gonna, we've chosen this um, Pioneer radio. Now, um, the model on this guy is the the 4869B2 model, the DXT-X4869BT. Basically, with this model, it's Bluetooth capable, two sets of pre-outs on the back, um, all ready to go. We've got our main wiring harness here. That'll go with it. This is from the previous vehicle where vehicle we're gonna go ahead and cut that off and wire it in our new one parts today for this new radio is we got our wiring harness we're using the Metro 70-1858 connection and then again these are the non-amplified models we have our antenna adapter from the mini Motorola to the standard Motorola that fits our radio and then our dash kit to install the new radio in the factory location so with that and this we're gonna go ahead and start wiring up basically the wiring harness from the radio we're going to cut and each individual color will match up with the, each individual color of our little harness in here so we'll go ahead and get going and show you what that looks like what i've done here is stripped both ends of a harness this is the pioneer harness that plugs into the back of the pioneer and this plugs into the factory harness behind the radio and what i've done is because i've stripped the wires i've used these butt connectors and entered them on both sides now these connectors are fairly inexpensive and I just use a little crimper, put a nice little crimp in them, as you can see. So we're going to do that for the rest of the wires. All right. I went ahead and matched all the colors up here. There's a couple of them that you may notice you don't need. The solid blue wires, a power antenna. Um, this vehicle doesn't have a power antenna, so we just put a butt connector to cap it off. And we won't put anything on the other side. The other one is the solid orange one, which is the dimmer wire or illumination. We didn't have that functionality on the Pioneer, so we capped that off as well. Now on this side of the things, they have a blue and white striped wire that didn't match this side of the harness uh, from the Pioneer. Basically, that's the amp turn on wire, which we're gonna actually add an amplifier in this S10. So we'll use that later on in a different video. Don't worry about that at this time. So we've got that all wired here together. We have our antenna adapter. The next thing here, we're gonna go ahead and put together our dash kit. Now this will house the radio in the factory location, uh, retaining just a good quality clean look. Here we are in the vehicle. Uh, with this S10, we're gonna be putting that stereo in this factory location. So we gotta remove this trim panel piece off the radio so we can get to the main bolts and really slide that on out. So what we're gonna do is Start working on this. Now, the majority of this dash panel is held on with clips. Be careful, some of these older ones have cracks in it, so as you pull it off, be gentle. Now this tap, now this top bezel portion is held on just with clips. You can use your fingers and gently release it. But as you notice down here below, um, it kind of sits back behind this panel, so you'll have to drop this lower kick panel down just a little bit so the top bezel clears the lower trim panel. You may have noticed there's screws down below here. Go ahead and remove those once you pop this panel down. And again, there's two bolts holding this lower panel in as well. Once you remove those two screws, you can lower the steering wheel, which I will do. Try to with one hand. Lower the steering wheel. And now you notice the gear shifter may get in the way. You can put in the key, just pull it down so it's out of the way. So you can remove it. Okay, after I drop the handle down there, there's a harness here couple of them here on the back of this panel here go ahead and remove those and the whole piece comes free and pop the steering wheel back up give you a little bit more space and this now opens up the opportunity to get to our bolts here now these bolts here left and right this will allow us to pull the radio and plug the factory harnesses behind the radio and then prepare to put in the new one all right so I got my bolt remover screwdriver basically I'm gonna remove these are seven millimeter fits a little socket here we're gonna remove those and pull the radio all right with the radio out there you can see we got our main harness which will unplug and then our antenna adapter and our antenna which will unplug there as well and then the radio will come free all hooked up ready to go where aftermarket radio is 
just because we can still disconnect this without messing with the uh, the wiring that we've done. And then we'll put the dash back here together. All right, here we are in the video. So we got our dash kit in. Um, just we're gonna tighten that up. Got our radio in the dash kit. And what we're gonna do is put the external fascia over the, the dash kit and it should be good to go. Um, basically all in reverse order. Um, as you've uh, taken apart. So if you have any questions about this install, just go ahead and post a comment below.